here we go with part two of Caller Finally Stands Up to the Mother of God. First in the Mexican mothers, because they go deep. <laughs> Amazing. They go deep. My brother in law's a big man, and they're, you know, they, they're embarrassed to come around me now. It's just, it's just gotten to that point where well, I'm amazed at the amount of betas. And the, I can't believe it because they're men. But I stood up to their own mother. My mother, you know, she gave me that look when I told her to forgive me. She looked at me with that spiritual look that I've never even had her look at me. It's like a deep look. Yeah. Like recognize that I went somewhere. I was like, whoa, it's almost scary. Yeah, it's evil but, because it's an evil spirit that made a home in the mother. And it's been kept. It's such a, an amazing secret. And they blame the father, yes. but it's not coming from the father. It's coming oh, from the mother. Oh, like, oh, what else? I, 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 that's just something. There's an evil spirit inside the woman, and they hate the father. It's not coming from the father. It's the woman, not the evil spirit inside the woman, but the woman itself. Oh, what was she? What do you got to forgive me for? He almost killed me. Your dad almost killed me. That you know that whole. I remember. I grew up on it, but I love my dad. He called me this morning. He's in Mexico for doing all that domestic. But that's between them two, you know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Did he? Did he just say that his dad attempted to kill him? It's just, it's something spiritual. He has problems with his mom. I, I've already been able to reflect back after these two years of listening and observing. It's just amazing yes. to be observing now. It's just, but it, it gives you the encouragement to want to do it for Mexicans. In Spanish, I would like to do a bond in Spanish because, I, I, you know, I've always stood firm as a man. Like I said, I went to prison when I was 18, and I came out of there a speaker. I was made a speaker, a grown man. I would sit down at the table. It would be the black, the white. And the other Mexicans, uh, the gangs, and we would not be chosen to speak right there. And when it came down to the wardens, I would be speaking to the wardens. But it comes down to not how size, how size you are. I'm 120 pounds, 5'7". But the eye contact, Jesse, being a man, honor and respect is something that God gave us as men. And yeah. we need to take that serious. It's something real special that women don't got. And I wanted to make a statement, a comment, what you think is going out there by saying the Bible was meant for men. <laughs> wow. The Bible is meant for men, and men have something special given to them by God that women doesn't have. That women don't have the special eye gaze. These people are just so hilarious in their blatant misogyny. Very, very. You are one hundred percent correct. It wasn't right. meant for women to read. It's for men. It was for men to read. That's right. And the whole dynamic is about men returning to the father. Because men if men it. were to return to the father, they would naturally bring their woman back and they would protect their children. Yes, you get the that. respect from <laughs> <laughs> Wow, wow. The Bible is meant for men to return to God and drag along their uh, women folk. Your mother-in-law, you'll get the respect from your mother. <laughs> yeah. Your wife will be in love with you, amazed, and you'll, you'll, you'll know that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know. And it's just, come on, man. It's like, <laughs> Joe Biden, come on, man. Anyway, Jesse, God bless you. I love you so much. Today's my birthday. I wanted to give myself, you know, give by calling you. I'm nervous, but I just wanted to confirm what you're doing. It's special, and it's God well, it, sent. Well, happy and, birthday. Israel, will you hold for me? I want Nick to get your contact, and someone's going to call sir. you from my office and see what we can do to work together, all right? And, man, yes, I'm in West Texas. Trump came here about a month ago, and there's nothing but Mexicans here and blacks, and I've seen them both working. I, I've seen them both at the burrito line, cashing checks. So ain't got nothing to do with all that, what's going on. That's right. Work. What? <laughs> Wow, wow. So, the guy just said that he sees uh, Mexican people and black people working, and, like, Jesse isn't, like, railing against that. That's hilarious. Well, it's a joy to hear from you, buddy. Hold on. I'm going to have Thank Nick you. get your information. I'm going to contact yes, you later. Oh, awesome. Thank oh, you. All right, hold on. Oh, amazing testimony. Amazing. And I want to, and he's right. It's about the men returning. That's why the attack is so on the men, because even in the fallen state, they still are sons of God. They just went away from the father. They were taken away from the father, but they still belong to him. That's why the father calling them back. Really? Because the power is in the father. They are sons of God. You have not been demoralized for 
just because they didn't have anything else to do, folks. Men, you got to overcome mama and return to the father. You don't have to, but you can suffer and die. Or you could be born again and live. It's up to you. Do what you want. You stay on the drugs, on the alcohol, on the sex, on the, the little game you're playing with yourself, and you're going to live to regret it. Mm, nah, because all that sounds pretty fun. What you subscribe to just sounds like extreme loneliness, because all you want everybody to do is hate women for some weird reason.